Hello and welcome. In this particular session, we are going to learn how to create column and bar chart. So when numbers are represented with vertical columns, it is called a column chart. And when the same is represented horizontally, it is called bar chart in Excel terminology. And these are the most commonly used charts in Excel. Out of these two, the column chart is more common because one can very easily visualize the highs and lows of the numbers. To create a bar or a column chart you will select the data range for which you want to create the chart then click on insert and then click on insert bar or column chart icon under the chart section just to have a close-up view this is how it will look on the menu bar when you click on insert and this is the icon for inserting column or bar chart let's create our first column chart using this particular report which has sales executive wise revenue numbers for a particular period. Just a quick reminder for a couple of things to note while selecting a data range to create a chart is that you must select the titles, the row titles which are these and the column titles which are these and you should not include the row and column grand totals in the range. We are going to select our range as this range and since the column chart is the most commonly used chart in Excel, we have a shortcut for that which is Alt F1. So once you select the range, we can simply hit Alt and F1 key and there you go. We have a chart ready which is using this particular predefined format. Let's increase the size of the chart and then examine what are the various elements in this particular column chart. The first one you see down here is the horizontal axis and that is nothing but the row titles which are picked up from here. The second one is the vertical axis and that is represented for the sales numbers. What you see here, these are the numbers representing the grid lines and these are the major grid lines. Let me show you what are the two kinds of grid lines by clicking on the chart and we go to the design tab add chart elements, we will go to grid lines and you will see there are four types of grid lines, primary major horizontal, primary major vertical. So now you see even vertical lines have appeared and then we have primary minor horizontal. So these are the two kinds of grid lines horizontally. Excel auto defines the units of this grid lines based on the number distribution you have within the range. However, you have the choice to edit that. To do that, we click on this element which has the vertical grid line numbers. Right click on it and click on format access. And here you have the option to edit the units for major as well as minor grid line. So for example, let's say we want to change this to 400,000 instead of 500,000 and we click anywhere outside. Now the units have changed to 400, 800, 1200, thousands and so on. You can also change the number formatting of these numbers by right clicking on them, clicking on format access, scroll down and go to the numbers section and we may select currency option here. Select your currency symbol and the type of formatting you require and there you see we have dollar signs appearing in front of these numbers. We can also format the way the grid lines appear. To do that, right click on the grid line numbers, click on major grid lines for example and there you will find options to edit the major grid line formatting so let's say we select a solid grid line and we choose an orange color so this is how you can change the color or the type of lines that appear on grid lines. Similarly, when you click here, you can find other options to select minor grid lines and go on and edit the minor grid lines. Now let's see how you can edit the main element of the chart, which are the columns. To do that, click on any one of the columns. You will find that all the columns are selected. Now click on the format tab of the chart tools on the main menu bar. Here you will find options to edit and format the shape. Here you can either use any one of the predefined format like these ones or you can go on selecting individual options. So let's say for shape fill, we select this. For the outline, we may select this particular option and you can go on selecting any one of the shape effects that you like. Let me select a shadow option and that's this. There are various options available for you 
to select for the shape effect. So this is how you can edit the columns of the chart to make it look the way you want them. In case you want a particular column to be edited, let's say I want to change the color of this particular column then first when you click on the column all the columns will be selected you click on the column once again and then you will find that only that particular column is selected and I'll change the color of this column to yellow so this is how you can individually change the formatting of one of the elements of the columns we can click on the chart area right click and then click on the format chart area here you can format the background of the chart let's say we select picture or texture field we can edit the text of the axis by clicking on them going to the standard home tab and let's say making this bold changing the color to let's say red we'll do the same for the x-axis or the horizontal axis we will increase the size of the title we can make it say dark blue and make it bold and increase the size the chart adjust itself accordingly so this is how you can custom design your own chart